friends. You may remember in the last episode, I told you that I had to run to town. We did. Um, we had to go get my phone fixed. We were going to stop at Habitat for Humanity, which we did. And I can't wait to show you what we got. But real quick, we're stopping at Wilco to pick up some baby chicks. Uh, every couple years, you kind of got to get more to replace the ones that have stopped laying. And we have quite a few chickens. Um, we actually sell the eggs in our store, so and we have plenty of eggs at home. Yes. So we're getting a Good couple piece. dozen today, and Ooh. I'm happy about it. Who doesn't love baby chicks? They're adorable. Okay, so we're also stopping at the lumber yard to look at the beadboard. Um, you guys have been super great with suggestions, and one of you suggested beadboard as our backsplash in the kitchen, and I'm pretty sure that's what we're going to do. I love that idea. So we're looking at that. We're also looking for kitchen and hallway ceiling um, material and also for the living room. So also one of you wanted to see our house. So this is our house from the outside coming down the driveway. And you can also see a little bit of our construction in the side yard where we're building a gate, a fence and a new arbor. So, yep, this is the house. Okay, so this is the chicken coop and it's Cackleberry Cottage, that's the name of it. Um, yeah, it's up at the, kind of near the top of the driveway, so. This is the coop. So Ida Mae is a rooster. Ida Mae. Hi, Ida Mae. Hi, Ida Mae. Ida is a very old rooster. Okay, my husband is going to rig up a heat lamp for the baby chicks. We've got a separate little area for them. I wanted to show you guys this dresser. This was Mike's grandma's dresser and I'm thinking about bringing it in the house and cleaning it up, maybe painting it and doing something with the hardware. I love the little locks on it. Every drawer has a little lock on it, but and it's got wheels on it. I'm thinking about using it for a counter in the bathroom and then just putting like a galvanized bucket or something as the sink. So that is a possibility. Out from the chicken coop and into a bathroom. Okay, so back here is where the baby chicks are gonna be. Um, this is an area that's usually set aside for hens who are sitting, so it's technically the nursery area anyway. You want some bread? Okay, so I know this isn't part of our house remodel or anything, but it is something that's keeping us slowed up from it. So out of these few days that my husband took off work, um, these are the type of things that have to get done. So it does take away time from getting stuff done in the house, but that's okay. Look at how adorable they are. It's like, I'm freezing cold. Let me under the heat with everybody else. Look at me.
cute little things. Okay guys, I wanted to show you these pillows because they were my inspiration on choosing the color for this room. So I liked the gray in these pillows and these are um, the Beekman Farmhouse pillows. And I just, like I said, I really liked the gray. And this is another one that I got with it. And if, look at that. It's like so perfect for that color. Isn't that perfect? And this is how it looks dry. I'm so happy with this color. Okay guys, I wanted to show you our new sink. Okay, first of all, yes, everything is white. We are going to be getting a new microwave, a smaller one that's stainless steel. And we're gonna be getting a new stove, probably stainless steel as well. So, we found this at Habitat for Humanity and it literally looks brand new. Um, the only thing is this little plumbing thing here looks like it was maybe taken out for a uh, garbage disposal. Um, that's it. That's an easy fix. No biggie. Um, but yeah, it looks brand new. It was only $27.99, but we got it for half off. It's like awesome. And it's black. I think since my kitchen window is basically the focal point of my kitchen because you kind of want a focal point I think the black is gonna look really really sharp in there and we plan on doing um, glass shelves in the window so I can have like some plants and my herbs and stuff okay guys I grabbed this photo off of Pinterest to show you what I'm talking about this is what I want so I really, I just really think that that sink is gonna look so, so good. I am so happy about that. Um, we had ordered a sink and when it came in, it was flat, like the color, there was no shine, it was flat. And it was like a weird porous kind of surface on it. I don't know, it looked really hard to clean. I told my husband, send it back. We will go look at Habitat and what an awesome find it's like brand new so i never thought that i would want a black sink but it's like black eyeliner makes everything all the uh, the rest of your makeup look good that's what this black sink's gonna do okay guys so my husband's in here now working on the inside of the cabinet so he can put the shelves and stuff in so maybe I can start putting my dishes back in the cabinets and that's going to be a big help. So he's also painted these pieces that are like going to go in between the cabinets like filler pieces. So their paint's drying. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here so it doesn't get too long. So I will talk to you guys in the next video. See you then. Bye bye.